and welcome to Interview, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Jolene Bissett Joseph. Now, over the last few months, we have been um, joined by representatives from the Ministry of Health who have been giving us some insight into the importance of breastfeeding for both baby and um, the new mother. And today we are joined again by Ms. Francilia Joseph, who's actually a field nutritionist within the Ministry of Health. So first of all, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Okay, and I understand yes. today we're going to be talking about um, breast milk storage. Mm -hmm. But before we even go into that, just so that we can get a, a little basic wrap up, um, you know, a little throwback to the importance of breastfeeding, first of all. So can you just give us some information about that? Okay, sure. Um, I just want to highlight the fact that breastfeeding is the best feeling for any mother. Right. Also, breast milk is the best food that you can give the baby. There is no other food that can replace the breast milk. Mm -hmm. And we want to encourage mothers to breastfeed because we know that this milk, this food as a matter of fact, helps boost the baby's immune system. Mm -hmm. It helps prepare the baby, it helps strengthen the baby. And as the baby comes out of the mother's womb, this is what the baby needs to nourish it. It helps with the baby's belly. It helps help fight antibodies as well. So in coming out, this milk, this food as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. is the most nourishing food that the baby can get with all the nutrients that the baby needs at this present time. Okay, but there are also benefits to, to mother as well, right? Oh yes, Okay. the mother regains her size, her mm -hmm. weight, it helps the womb as well. And studies show as well, it's, it's a bonding period for both mother and child. Okay, all right, brilliant. Now, we were talking about um, storage, we're talking about the storage of breast milk. Tell me a little bit about the importance of a mother doing so. Why should a mother look towards storing breast milk? Most times at the clinic, when mothers come after giving birth, you find out they're saying that when we ask them when questions about when question about whether they're going to continue breastfeeding mm -hmm. or whether going to they're going to breastfeed baby, they would go like, um, I think so, eh? but I have to go to work. Mm. This is one of the questions that usually pops up. So what do we encourage them to do? We inform them that they can continue breastfeeding. They can continue breastfeeding even whilst they're at work. Mm -hmm. They can pump, and there are different ways that they can go ahead doing that. Mm -hmm. So we want them to transition from being at home for the first maybe three months mm -hmm. and continuing with the breastfeeding because we know that it's extremely important. Mm -hmm. So with the encouragement, we also go, go around and inform them. We give them information. We also give them little tips as to how they can continue doing that. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. it, because it's extremely, it's of extreme importance. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we want them to understand that this is the food that the baby needs and this is the best above all the others. Because it is what the baby's body needs, mm -hmm. it is what that has all the nutrients that can help baby fight against all these little diseases, communicable diseases, mm -hmm. and all these little foreign bacteria right. that, that's coming on stream. Okay. So we want them to know that. Okay. And in order for them to know that, it's important that we too, have, um, bomb we to bombard them with the information. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do, we sit with them, we give them little options, we inform them as to how they can go ahead doing that. They must be relaxed if they do not have a pump. Mm -hmm. We encourage them to use their fingers as well mm -hmm. to help squeeze the breast mm -hmm. and then bring out the milk from it. Mm -hmm. We show them the right techniques as well as to how they can go about doing that mm -hmm. in a relaxed manner. Right, yeah. And most of all, it is important as to how they go about doing it. Mm -hmm. And we inform them that first of all, they must prepare the environment for it. They must ensure that they wash their hands properly first off, ensure that their breast is clean, ensure that the equipment, so whatever they're going to use, is sterilized properly mm -hmm. and that it is also clean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, as we're talking about storage, why is proper storage so important? Because we do not want bacteria. Mm -hmm. to, we do not want the equipment that the baby is going to use to get, any, to get infected or get any bacteria. Because we want them to ensure that they wash the, whatever it is that they're going to use properly. We do not want nothing to interfere with the quality of the breast milk. Okay, yes. all right, brilliant. Now, um, something that I was reading, because I, I was sent some information about, again, mm -hmm. the proper storage of breast milk. It was said that it might be better to do it, to do it in small batches. Oh, yes. Why small batches? 
most times you find sometimes the baby is not as you know to avoid wastage that's okay. the most important okay okay to avoid wastage because mm -hmm. sometimes you the baby is hungry you prepare a bottle you prepare a cup you prepare the bag the breast milk for mm -hmm. the baby mm -hmm. and then you find that there's leftover mm -hmm. so that leftover you want to ensure that you do not throw it away or mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you conserve it so mostly to prevent wastage mm -hmm. so you parcel it you know you should know your baby maybe you try maybe one to two ounces, maybe two to four ounces. Mm -hmm. as the baby grows you increase it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes and it's very important that you do that okay and also labeling i believe is important yes Why do label, we label is important as yeah. well um you find sometimes you have to hand over this child to maybe a family member okay or you have to go to, to work mm -hmm. and then you um identify a daycare maybe that you, you feel comfortable with and you want to hand over your baby over to these people mm -hmm. it is important that you put also the name of the child oh, okay. you put your child's name okay. you put the date mm -hmm. and you put the time that you breast you express this milk okay it is also important if it's at your home mm -hmm. you put the date Mm -hmm. If it's home, everybody knows you're maybe most probably you're the only one with the baby at home. Right. So you just date it nicely mm -hmm. and you package it nicely so mm -hmm. that you will be able to identify which one is first, mm -hmm. which one you expressed first, mm -hmm. and which one was sorry, which one was most recently expressed. Okay. In that way, you will use the, the one that you expressed earlier on mm -hmm. first. Okay. All right. Understand? Yes. Yeah. And I understand that uh, also a constant temperature is best for storing the breast milk? Oh, yes. Why, why is that asked, the constant temperature? That's, that's very important. That's an important question. Mm -hmm. Because most times, sometimes we, we store it at different parts of, in different parts of the fridge. Okay. Sometimes, if you are handing your baby at a daycare, yeah. sometimes they might not have the facility to store it. So mm -hmm. you must, it's important to know um, the different temperature mm -hmm. and at what point do you change mm -hmm. the breast milk as well. Mm -hmm. So for the refrigerator, mm -hmm. for sorry, we'll start with room temperature. So if okay. you express your breast mm -hmm. and you left it home and you just ran down the the, the hill, you said you're going to get some groceries or mm -hmm. so forth, mm -hmm. it is advisable that you leave it for six hours. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And make sure that the place is not too hot, mm -hmm. it's just warm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you mm -hmm. could leave it for that. Okay. Um, especially if it's just freshly expressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, or six hours, or sometimes we ask that it's for within the first four hours you could use that milk. Okay. Okay. Um, another thing too is putting it in an insulated cooler. Okay. Yes. Freshly expressed breast milk can mm -hmm. be stored in the insulated cooler mm -hmm. with ice packs for up to one day. Okay. So in that event, you may most probably at the daycare. Maybe they they do not have the proper um, facility to store it in, mm -hmm. so you could use the the insulated cooler, mm -hmm. and you could put ice pack in there. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. all up to you as the parent mm -hmm. to know what's best and to keep that mm -hmm. breast milk with all the nutrients mm -hmm. to keep it healthy and nutritious. Right. You need to do everything possible to ensure that it's stored properly. Okay. Also, we have in the refrigerator. Right. Um, it could be f freshly expressed milk can be stored in the back of the refrigerator mm -hmm. for up to four days in clean conditions. Okay. We must take note of clean conditions okay. because you do not want to use a bottle or a cup, something that was used already and mm -hmm. it's not properly clean, no. Or sorry, washed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it must be expressed. However, it is of optimal use of mm -hmm. freeze the milk within three days. Okay. 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 So in the refrigerator. So you know that there are different parts of the fridge. Right. So we just name in the different parts yeah. and how it should be stored. Okay. 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 So we're moving on if you plan on putting it in the deep freezer. Mm -hmm. That's another time again that mm -hmm. you have to uh, ensure that you express it and you store it at the back of the deep freezer mm -hmm. for up to 12 months. It can be stored for up to 12 months. Oh, wow. Months. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's something I did not know. Yes. <laughs> Okay. However, mm -hmm. using the frozen milk within mm -hmm. six months is optimal. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. So we see that it can be stored. Mm -hmm. So for, for persons who are maybe fearful and say, oh, but what do I do with all that milk? Yeah, As I was going to say, yeah, that has yes. expressed a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So they're wondering, but 
what do I do with all this milk? Mm -hmm. I just keep milk keep on, you know, mm -hmm. pouring out and mm -hmm. so forth. You can store the breast milk. Okay. With information, there is power. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you mentioned um, containers there. What kind of containers can mothers use to actually store the breast milk? This is very important as mm -hmm. well because you do not want to just put the breast milk in any container at home or right. any bottle at home. Mm -hmm. So you must ensure that some breast um, pumps come with con designated containers. Mm -hmm. Some of them have the little bags as well. Mm -hmm. So they have different methods of storing it. So we have to right. be very careful. We have to be mindful of the type of products that we use mm -hmm. when we are storing it. There are these containers specially designed for the breast milk. They have those nice um, cooler covering tops. Okay, yeah. You need to ensure that you use these. Mm -hmm. Also, we have, the, um, we have some containers with... Um, some nice seal tops yeah. and they're approved. Yeah. So you have to ensure that when you go ahead and get the pumps, mm -hmm. you need to ask about the different containers that okay. you're getting to um, put your breast milk in. There are these um, containers that have, um, they're graded. Mm -hmm. They have capped, food graded capped on them. They're glass containers, okay. especially, okay. or they had plastic containers right. that's not made with the chemical, with certain chemicals. Right. Okay, so we yeah. have to be aware of that. Okay. And these um, containers must be stored clean. They must be clean properly. Okay. 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 All right, no problem. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I have a few more questions to ask you, but however, right now it's time for a break. So okay, then. we will be back in a moment. We are working parents and we breastfed both babies exclusively. We fed six years, we buy you two tetek, you two ni bon sevel. Mother's breast milk is naturally the best milk for baby. Love yourself and love your baby. Breastfeeding saves me money and it's free. Every moment I breastfeed strengthens the bond between me and my baby. I breastfed twin boys and lost all my baby fat. We were breastfed! And we have breast milk power. I am Pastor Alvin and I support breastfeeding. For more information, call the Nutrition Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness Four six eight five three five nine. Welcome back to interview, and we are talking the storage of breast milk here mm -hmm. with field nutritionist um, Francilia Joseph. Now yes. we were, Miss Joseph, we were talking about the storage of mm -hmm. breast milk, the containers. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you'd like to just add to that? Yes, mm -hmm. I want to. Um, ensure that we get the message across that you can also use special plastic bags designed mm -hmm. for milk co collection and really? storage. Yes. Okay. When you purchase the whole kit, for yeah. there are special, there are little bags mm -hmm. designed just for breastfeeding, just for breast milk storage. Okay. Okay. And it's important as well that you find, there are lots of um, information around mm -hmm. Google. We have um, our social media, we mm -hmm. can, you know, tap into this mm -hmm. to get our little information before. Okay, so it's important that people research. And, yes, and, and research. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, also, it's important that you don't store breast milk in disposable bottle. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. At, or disposable liners or plastic bags designed mm -hmm. for general household use. Okay. okay. Okay, so some people might say, okay, um, buy... Um, in the supermarket has those two pong bags, one mm -hmm. pong bag. Mm -hmm. I might just I might as well just use that mm -hmm. if they're using plastic containers mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. forth. Mm -hmm. So we're saying these are not designed for this purpose. Mm -hmm. So it will not be advisable to use these disposable bags. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Now in your in your own opinion, or maybe uh, that 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 is not fair for me to ask that, but is there any container that people might say is best? Is it best to use glass, for example? Is it best to use plastic? Or are all of them just okay and it's, it's really a case of what the mother pref prefers? Okay, like I said earlier on, it is best to use capped food grade mm -hmm. glass container okay. or hard plastic containers mm -hmm. that's not made with the chemical best fellow. Mm -hmm. You can also use the plastic 
bags designed. Mm -hmm. And that's an important word here. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be designed for milk collection okay. and storage. Because okay. in the event that you use any container or any bag, it might end up tamper with the quality of the breast milk mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Also the storage too. So for this reason, we are at, we're encouraging you to use only those designed for this purpose. Okay, all and right. And we must ensure that it is sterilized. Sterilized. It's cleaned properly. You wash your hands, mm -hmm. ensure that whatever that you're going to use to express this milk in is sterilized. Okay, no yes. problem. Okay, now we, you also um, touched on before the break as well, um, the different ways you can store, whether it be refrigerated, um, in the freezer, deep freezer and such like. Mm -hmm. But I know that you could also keep um, the breast milk at room temperature for a little while, right? How long mm -hmm. is that for? Um, like I said earlier on, you could keep it for four hours, six four hours. hours. But I understand yes. it has to be out of direct sunlight, right? Yes. Why right. does it have to be out of direct because sunlight? Because we do not want the nutrients. We do not want the nutrients to um, deplete. We want to ensure that we keep the nutrient level. For example, too much heat mm -hmm. might damage the vitamin C in okay. the milk right. and some nutrients in the milk. It mm -hmm. might um, damage the effects how nu um, nutritious it would be mm -hmm. if. You know, mm -hmm. it gets all this heat because take it for um, consideration. Mm -hmm. Take into consideration the breast milk coming from the brothers, the mother's breast mm -hmm. has to. It's at a certain temperature, right? And it should be stored in this way mm -hmm. because we, we do not want to overheat it. Overheat it can kill certain nutrients right, and right. The, um, how effective it will be mm -hmm. for the baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. D if I have the, if my intention as the mother is to. Um, refrigerate the mm -hmm. the express milk is it still okay like if I give it because I know this it said that it, refrigeration is recommended but I mean is it okay if like after I express it is there for a little time before I put it in the fridge or is it a case of once I'm thinking of refrigerated it has to go straight away into the fridge is, is, is it okay if there's a little that's 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 a good point mm -hmm. and it brings us to how we um foreign out breast milk okay yes that's a very good point mm -hmm. um, what do we encourage persons to do? Like we said earlier on, if mm -hmm. you know you're going to use um, maybe two ounces, you try and parcel it in a way that you only be using two ounces. Right. So you won't have wastage. Okay. Because at the end of the day, we do not want you to put refreeze, put this breast milk back in the freezer, right. in the refrigerator. Right. Yeah. We yeah. do not want you to do that. Mm -hmm. So as much as possible, not only for wastage, mm -hmm. but only to save the nutri the potency of the milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We want you to warm it up nicely, and we do not want it to be hot. Yeah. You just have to allow it to thaw out nicely. Mm -hmm. So you could do that under running water. Okay. You could also do it, you put a, a pan of hot water, mm -hmm. and you just dip it in nicely, mm -hmm. don't leave it don't let it boil okay because again you will kill the um, nutrients mm -hmm. and you will you know mm -hmm. so you don't let it boil you do mm -hmm. not let it um so out so that it could be too hot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all you do you just allow it to fall out nicely and it's important that we note that you do not microwave you do not put the milk in the microwave to thaw okay. it out okay tell us, tell us why because if you notice the milk is frozen yeah you put it in the microwave some spots might not some uh, might not defrost okay. and sometimes you find that it might be too hot in some places right. and the same way it might lose potency as okay. well. Okay. It might not be as nutritious as mm -hmm. if, you, if you were just allowing warm water to mm -hmm. just fall on it and it form nicely. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's okay. important that we know that. Okay. So the breast milk not supposed to get much heat. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to just fall nicely on the warm water mm -hmm. or warm running water. Okay. 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 And also the question you ask about reu um, using it again. No, there are certain you do not want to thaw it out and express it or put it in a container and leave it there for mm -hmm. more than the, it's supposed to okay. because it might lose you know, the potency of it. Okay. Definitely. Another thing that we must note as well is the fact that sometimes we have, we gave baby maybe two ounces, mm -hmm. and then baby was not, you know, we noticed that baby needs some more. Mm -hmm. You could also add some more breast milk to it. Oh, you can? Yes. Okay. You All can right. add some more. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. when you find out the milk, mm -hmm. you need to be mindful of sometimes you have breast milk that already fall out, and then you have those that are already frozen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you understand? Mm -hmm. So you need to be very careful with that. Mm -hmm. So you fall it out nicely and then you add, you mix it up with those that will fall out. Okay. Okay? Oh. So you make sure that it's fresh. Now sometimes 
you find some people might have the tendency of saying that, oh, the milk will have an odor, mm. will have a smell. Mm. Sometimes it depends on what you eat. Oh, okay. It depends on the food that you okay, eat. Okay, okay. And sometimes that doesn't mean that the milk is spoiled. Mm -hmm. It's just based on what you eat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another thing that we need to take into consideration is the fact that as we know that the baby grew, and we also know that the breast milk changes as well. Mm -hmm. So when the ba when baby just came out a few months, mm -hmm. you have the breast in a different, um, you have it with certain nutrients in it. As the baby grows, the mm -hmm. nutrient content increases, it changes as well. Okay. So I'm saying that to say, sometimes you must, might have a batch in the freezer, mm -hmm. and then you remember baby's growing, mm -hmm. although you did, you put a date to it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you, and you're expressing and you're breastfeeding mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. So remember the nutrient content mm -hmm. changes as well. Right, right. Yeah. So we need yeah. to be mindful of that. So mm -hmm. if you have a, if you had a batch, maybe baby was a few, maybe five months, four months, and then a month later, or you still have that batch in the fridge. Yeah. You understand? So it won't be as rich as yeah. when baby was yeah. around five months or four months. Okay. You All understand? Right. Yeah. yeah. So this is important as well. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, you had said, when we, again, talking about storage, and, and, and I had asked you what could happen, why is it um, proper storage important? You said you don't want bacteria to form yes. within the breast milk. Now. Being a, uh, if you have a new mother and, and they've never done this before and they see that maybe the baby doesn't look, uh, maybe baby looks a bit peaky, maybe, uh, should they worry that maybe they stored the breast milk wrong? Is there something they could do to check to see if everything's okay? And what is it, signs maybe they can look out for that maybe um, storage wasn't done as it should have been done kind of thing? Is there anything they should look out for? Well, most times when we have new mothers, we try to um, educate them. Mm -hmm. So we inform them that First of all, they need to wash their hands before mm -hmm. expressing the milk. Mm -hmm. Ensure that the containers or whatever they're going to use is properly sterilized. Mm -hmm. And we inform them, we um, instruct them as to how they can do that. Wash it properly, mm -hmm. wash it separately from the thing, the um, dishes, the utensils in the sink. Mm -hmm. um, try and have separate sterilized stuff for it to store it in. Right. Ensure that um, wherever you're going to use, that is the place, whatever you're going to use to wash or sterilize mm -hmm. the bottles or the um, the plastic bags, the mm -hmm. containers. It's what um, on this place or this container is only going to be used for this purpose. Okay. Or if you're going to use it for another purpose, ensure that it's pro properly sterilized. You mm -hmm. give it some sun. Ensure that you wash clean the area. Mm -hmm. Ensure that your nails are clean. Okay. Ensure that your breast is clean as well. Mm -hmm. Ensure that there are no moles in whatever that you're using. Mm -hmm. That would be ensure that you have running water to, to clean it up nice. Mm -hmm. Another thing we want to encourage them to is sometimes um, you might end up finding baby has some form of maybe diarrhea or right. some form of infection. And mm -hmm. it, it might be as a result of that mm -hmm. or it might be something else as well. It might right. be sometimes mommy, mommy needs to take stock of what she's eating, how mm -hmm. she's eating mm -hmm. and so forth. However, sometimes we have um, different issues, you have mouth infection, okay. you have thrush, you have different issues that come along mm -hmm. on stream. However, we need to ensure that mom is aware that proper hygiene and mm -hmm. washing and cleaning the place is mm -hmm. very important. Okay. And then this is, that's something that they need to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. And also they need to seek help as well mm -hmm. from the different medical, maybe the pediatrician, mm -hmm. the health center, the mm -hmm. nurses mm -hmm. for further information and also mm -hmm. advice as well as to what might be what what might possibly lead to mm -hmm. this maybe picky or infection right. sometimes right. the baby maybe it can be some other thing that result in that can be maybe baby is not comfortable right maybe um baby is not latching on the areola properly mm -hmm. so all these things can be maybe mommy is not comfortable too right maybe is mo maybe mommy is worried or not relaxed yeah. too. so we have a, a number of factors that may might contribute towards mm -hmm. baby not feeling mm -hmm. up to it so mm -hmm. with this we don't look at only just one factor we look at every other thing surrounding mm -hmm. it so, mm -hmm. so that we can come up with uh, maybe a 
definite reason why okay. this right. is happening to me. Okay. But will I be right in thinking in that case that once the, the proper procedures are followed and the storage does take place, breast milk is still the best way to oh, go yes. and storage really is important? Yes. Yeah. Always the best. Okay. Breast milk is a, a cut above the rest. Okay. Yes. All right. So okay. we cannot stress more on the importance of this. Mm -hmm. We want mothers to know that this is the only way baby can get the full mm -hmm. immunity and also the nutrients that baby needs mm -hmm. is from the breast okay this All is right. why god designed us with our breasts mm -hmm. so that when we give birth we have the milk the food for babies mm -hmm. now we like to go ahead and say oh baby is not eating um i need to get something baby's not sleeping maybe baby is not filled and we rush ahead we go and buy those um milk those yeah, animal yeah. based products mm -hmm. for baby so I just want to encourage moms to think of breastfeeding because it will save you a lot. Mm -hmm. Also think of breastfeeding. It will help baby as well. Mm -hmm. It will help baby in the future. You might not see it right now, mm -hmm. but in the future it will save you from visiting the doctor. It will save you from taking time off from work every time because mm -hmm. your baby is sick, baby mm -hmm. is not well. Mm -hmm. So if you start from now, you nurture baby, you feed baby properly, you will have a healthy baby okay. in the long run. Okay, all right. Now in saying that, a lot of mothers might find it hard um, to express. Mm -hmm. And for you to get a batch and a proper batch for you to store and such like, you need to express. What advice would you give to mothers? Because there's a key word you said um, at the beginning of the show, which was to find a way to relax. How would you um, advise young mothers to relax so that they will be able to express and, and, and things should be able to flow okay? Uh, most time, like we said, every pregnancy is different. Mm -hmm. Every mother is different. You have different um, problems that occurs. You have persons with, sometimes you will say, difficulty with the milk coming out. Mm -hmm. And you have all different little problems that come across. Mm -hmm. However, we want mothers to understand that you have to be patient. You have to be patient. You must mm -hmm. be relaxed. Mm -hmm. You must ensure that you eat. You eat from the six food group, mm -hmm. you drink your water, you relax, you maybe think of something nice, think of something refreshing, mm -hmm. um, make sure that you prepare yourself to sit and express. Be patient. Because mm -hmm. sometimes if you're not relaxed, the milk will not flow as it's supposed to. Right. Sometimes you have stress, something's on your mind, you have all issues you're trying to express, you think you know some other problem you have at work, maybe something in the family that's not going well, mm -hmm. and then your mind is all over the place. Mm -hmm. So we want this moment to be a relaxation time. You mm -hmm. relax, you take a deep breath, and then the milk will flow easily. Okay. Okay, you drink mm -hmm. a glass of water, mm -hmm. or you have a glass of milk or a glass of juice. Just relax and enjoy the moment. Okay. It might not be the same for everybody. Mm -hmm. However, if anyone out there who needs further help or they need counseling as, or they need help as to how to go about doing the process. Mm -hmm. Bec we at the health centers, we have um, persons who are trained to assist and encourage as well. Okay. So if anybody out there needs help, mm -hmm. we are ever open to, you know, helping out. We mm -hmm. have midwives, we have nutrition persons, mm -hmm. we have trained persons at the facility right. who will take time off to um, demonstrate and also assist mm -hmm. as much as possible as to how you could have this process um, be done as relaxing as possible. Okay, brilliant. Yes. Okay, and can you just do me one favor and just exp and just highlight the importance as well of, of, of hydration because I know that sometimes, just very, because we have to wrap up, mm -hmm. so just, you can just tell me what the, just say a couple of words about the importance of hydration. Okay, good. Now, most times you find that um, we don't um, give our body the um, right amount of fluid that it requires. We find most times persons go about doing their daily work and they forget to drink water. However, during breastfeeding, it's a very crucial time for the baby and you as a mother. During that time, you find that you giving out fluid, you giving baby breast milk, and you need to keep yourself hydrated. You need to ensure that not only water, you eat your vegetable, mm -hmm. you eat your fruits, mm -hmm. you make sure that you have drink some, have some coconut water, mm -hmm. have the coconut jelly, have mm -hmm. your wax apple. Mm -hmm. These, all these foods, your cucumbers, mm -hmm. all these foods are rich in water and electrolytes that will help you and the baby. 
Excellent. It helps the baby's skin. It helps with producing the milk. It helps you feel relaxed. It will help you with um, sometimes a headache. Mm -hmm. the, you drink a glass of water, drink mm -hmm. a glass of milk, mm -hmm. a glass of juice. All these will help you re feel refreshed. And also it will help you and your baby. It will help prevent constipation as well. Okay. So sometimes you find that um, some mothers tend to say that, Oh, baby is constipated. I'm only breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. I've been breastfeeding for a while and only breast milk my baby gets. Sometimes you're not drinking enough water. Okay. You're not eating enough fruits. You're not having enough vegetables. Yeah. So then we evaluate, we go, we find out what it is that you're eating that contributes towards baby being constipated or what it is that you're not having that will help with baby with this easy flow and also will help you as well. Excellent. And on that point, we have to say goodbye, I'm afraid, though, because we've run out of time. But thank you so much for joining me. I always like these programs where we're educating the public. So thank you so much for coming here and sharing all this information with us. Okay. It was a pleasure being here as well. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you for joining us on the National Television Network. Do stay tuned. However, from me, Jolene Bisa Joseph, goodbye for now.